Last night, we got to go see an IMAX premiere of the brand new Creed film, Creed 3. Now, I've, I've had some mixed feelings going into Creed 3. One, because on one hand, I've really liked the Creed films. Number one more than number two, but I've liked them both very, very much, especially the first one's fantastic. But on the other hand, you know, this is Sly's franchise, and Sylvester Stallone has been very, very, and his brother have been very, very public about their disdain for the fact that there's a third Creed movie and all this kind of stuff. So I felt a little torn, right? So last night, me, Ann, and Ray, we go to the IMAX premiere. We bought tickets. I, I don't go to the press stuff anymore, but we bought tickets. We went to the IMAX premiere last night and watched Creed 3. Beautiful screen. Oh, uh, gorgeous screen. It was a wonderful theater. Yeah. I loved this movie. Hmm. I, I loved it so much that in my out-of-theater reaction, one of the first things I said about it was, I think it's comparable to the first one. It's it's a little bit of a different movie than the first it's one, for sure. Different. It's a different movie. Yeah. But here's the thing. I, I mentioned that Creed 2, which I like. I like Creed 2, but Creed 2 lacked a little bit of the heart and personality that the first Creed had. Creed 3, I feel like they understood that, and they're like, let's really put a lot of heart into this. Let's put a lot of character into this. And this... This movie's all character-driven. Like, it is. <laughs> and that is similar to the first Creed movie. It's very, very, very character-driven. And you just... Uh, you, the movie just starts with, like, a bit of a flashback that it instantly draws you in. Then you see where Adonis is in his life now. They introduce you to his, now, his like, 10-year-old or 11-year-old daughter and the family dynamic, and you just... You're, you're falling in love with it. You feel emotionally connected. You understand. You're resonating with the character. And then... You know, all these boxing movies have this challenge of all of a sudden now there's a bigger challenger to the champion. And the next one, now there's a bigger challenger. With the Jonathan Majors character, Damien. It's different. They made it very personal, very different. It was a very unique twist on, on things. And you felt that it reminded me a little bit of Clubber Lang where, and, and, and Drago, where it's like you felt the threat to the character, but again, there was more of a personal. The second one, Adonis had no connection to Drago's son, right? There, there was nothing there. There was nothing personal about it. There was for Rocky, sure, but this one it was all personal. And I, I don't often say this about a Rocky movie, but if you take the boxing out of Creed Three you are still left with a very, very good movie. Mm -hmm. And well, what's uh, crazy is at the end when he finds out there's an, there's a council of Damien. I mean, <laughs> and it's like, yeah. Oh my God, I got, oh my God, I got a cream. thousand of them. I got to yeah. Don't spoil, put up the spoiler. Warning. Sorry. I thought everyone saw it. We're spoiler pig when you need him. We're spoiler. That's right. <laughs> um, so I I'll tell you what, it has been a while. You know, I, I, on our out of the theater reaction, one of our viewers commented and I didn't realize this, but they commented, man, it's been a while since we've seen John really love a movie that he just came out of. And I realized, you know, they're right. It, it's been a little bit since I've come out of a movie because I I didn't love, I didn't even really like Cocaine Bear all that much. I didn't hate it. Um, I didn't hate Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Didn't hate it, but I, I didn't like it. Uh, it's It's been a bit and it felt so good. I got to tell you, man. It felt so good to come out of a movie theater with a big smile on my face, having had a great time at the movies. And there's going to be another Creed. I was watching one of the interviews with uh, Michael B. Jordan on the red carpet, and he was saying, they're, they're building up. There's going to be more Creed. Oh. There's going to be more Creed. And I'll tell you what, sign me up. I love, anyway, Ra Ray, you <laughs> were... I, you were the most excited person I knew about for this movie. You finally had a chance to sit down and watch it. What do you think about it? I, I, I love this movie, but for things that I never expected from a Rocky and Creed movie, I, I, I tell you, like, I didn't think every character that I was introduced to, to in this movie, I would care about. Like, everybody who got screen time on this movie, from from the mom, whatever, they I cared about all of their stories. It was great. Yeah. I, um. Felicia Rashad was great again as as Apollo's mom or as uh, Adonis's mom. Uh, the things I felt like at the end before the the last fight, there's always the last fight, right? 
I had as much hype inside me than I was when John Wick finally caught up to the guy who killed the dog. <laughs> like that build up, there's a different sort of build up in this that was more personal. Yeah, you kind of saw both sides of everyone's story. Like, uh, like and but Jonathan Majors, ooh, he, when he wants you to hate him, you're gonna hate him. But you know what? I'll say this. I'm gonna. I. I. I this may be a hot take. Maybe not shared by everybody. Jonathan Majors is better in this movie than he is in Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. Oh, oh, 100. He is better. Damien is a better 100. character than Kang. Yep, yep. I, 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 there's, there, there's a, sim, a, a, a flow of all the Rocky and Creed movies that it usually, like, goes by. This one was different. And in a lot of ways for me, as in, like, the things I was looking forward to weren't there, but they were replaced with better things. Yeah. Now, look, the movie's not perfect, by the way. There, no. There is definitely some pretty melodramatic moments in mm -hmm. the movie, no doubt. And there are a few concepts in the film Ooh, that, that, was tough. that they ask you as the audience to just suspend your disbelief about this. That, a little that bit. Like, tough. There's a few things. There's definitely those in there. But again, at the end of the day... Uh, this is a great movie, a big win for the Creed franchise, and uh, all due respect to Sly Stallone because I love Sly, love Tulsa King, but but this was a great movie. Maybe not quite as good as the first one, but I definitely better than the second. It, it separated itself from the Rocky name with this movie. It absolutely did. It, it, yes. it has its own identity now. Yeah, which is which is what I kind of wanted. Like I don't want to always attach a uh, Rocky who, let's say, in film or life would probably pass away. You can't hold on to that forever. Cuz cuz I think it's true to say that Creed 1 and Creed 2 are still Rocky movies. Yeah. Creed 3 is a Creed movie. Mm -hmm. And and I think they've made that transition now. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Have you been looking forward to Creed 3? Maybe you were one of those IMAX screenings last night and had a chance to see it. What whatever you guys think, jump on down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video rocket money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash campia that's rocketmoney.com slash campia rocketmoney.com slash campia